Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio, and with this week being E, or this weekend being EUIC, uh, I'm making a few videos in advance, because I'm going to be busy, hopefully meeting some of you guys. If you see me at EUIC, come say hi. I'm not casting EUIC this year, which means I've got more time to run around the hall playing, so, you know, come say hi. But... One of the things I love doing in a situation like this is going back and going, all right, which cards do we think are never getting a reprint? Sometimes it's because I look at these cards and I'm like, yeah, they're too good. They're not coming back. Sometimes a new card is revealed and I'm like, oh, yeah, well, this new card is kind of telling us that the old card is not coming back. And let's start off there. And let's have a look at Clara. Clara is a very recent, well, not a very recent card, but a pretty recent card. It's just about to rotate as it happens, came around in Chilling Rain. And what we see from Clara is a very good supporter that's seen a bunch of play as a recovery supporter. It lets you grab two Pokemon and two basic energy from your discard pile into your hand. But they just showed us Lana. They just released Lana. And firstly, look at the amazing special illustration rare. But secondly, I feel pretty confident that the existence of Lana tells us that Clara is not coming back. I don't want to use the phrasing Lana killed Clara because that seems inappropriate. But from a card standpoint, that is absolutely what's happened. You see, Lana is very similar to Clara, but it's not exactly the same. It lets you grab free in combination of Pokemon and basic energy from your discard pile into your hand. But it's not any Pokemon. It's Pokemon that don't have a rule box. So there are several differences between Lana and Clara. Firstly, Clara can get you a total of four cards. Lana can only get you three. Secondly, Clara can get you rule box Pokemon. Lana cannot. And thirdly, Lana can get free Pokemon or free energy. Clara can only ever get two of each. But the big difference here, and the reason why I look at Lana and go, oh yeah, mate, Clara's never coming back, is that they've specifically precluded rule box Pokemon. If Clara got two Pokemon, two energy, and Lana got three in combination, I can look at this and go, wow, they're basically the same card with slight differences. I could see Pokemon literally having both of them in the format at the same time. But the fact that Lana is basically Clara with that difference, oh yeah, but also, you know what, rule box Pokemon are excluded. Yeah, that tells me Clara's not coming back. Like, Clara's done. And we've seen this many, many times before. Like, one of my classic, and okay, we know it's actually been banned now, but way before it was banned, one of the cards where I knew it was not coming back was Scoop Up Net. Scoop Up Net, we've... We, but we've used that on this channel before. Like on this series where we're looking at cars that aren't coming back, Scoop Up Net has featured before. Because Scoop Up Net's dumb. It specifically said you could pick up a Pokemon that wasn't a V or a GX. So everyone was just like, sweet, let's go and get the Xs. And you had dumb stuff like Wailord EX, huge HP, wouldn't it be great to heal it perfectly? Yeah, it would. And the even dumber Shaman EX that you could, you know, pick up and replay and round and round we go. Yeah. I'm not saying this is on that level, but I am saying that rule box Pokemon, being able to recover them is a huge deal. Because all of a sudden, you can recover something like Mew, for instance. Basic Pokemon with a rule box that can draw cards. All of a sudden, you can use this to get something like that. And you're not just recovering your Pokemon. You're also going and getting yourself a draw engine. And a lot of the time, that is what makes the game, you know, get kind of out of hand. The getting the Pokemon back with a draw engine to then keep putting on the pressure. I think the fact that Lana exists tells us Clara's not coming back. Now, the second card, I'm cheating a little bit here, okay? I'm honest with you. I am cheating a little bit but I don't really care. I am telling you that red card is never coming back. And the reason that red card is never coming back is because we've seen unfair stamp. Now, the reason I'm calling this cheating a little bit is that red card is actually banned and expanded. So that kind of should tell you. The thing is, right, we've seen red card and then we've seen unfair stamp. And oh yeah, 
Uh, unfest, that means we're not getting red card. Now, red card is the one whereby your opponent shuffles his or her hand into his or her deck and draws four cards. It is a little bit mean because it's an item card that can basically shut your opponent down. It can give them a new hand early on in the game and then your opponent kind of sits there not able to do anything. Well, unfair stamp is way worse than that. It is, you can only use it if you had a Pokemon KO'd last turn, admittedly. But both players shuffle their hands into the deck. You get five cards, your opponent gets two. Now, it seems like, and we've seen this a little bit, you know, we had Reset Stamp a little while ago as well, that we've covered on this uh, series before. And it's a similar kind of thing. Reset Stamp was an item card where your opponent shuffled their hand into their deck and got a number of cards equal to their remaining prize cards. The difference here with both of these cards, with Red Card and with Unfair Stamp, is that it doesn't matter how many prize cards your opponent's got remaining. Red card put your opponent down to a four-card hand. This puts your opponent down to a two-card hand. It doesn't matter what's happened in terms of, you know, they could have taken very few prizes, and yet they get hurt by it. Now, they have to have taken one, admittedly, in order for Unfair Stamp to kick in. But this being an A-spec basically is Pokemon's way of signaling, look, we know that having an item card that messes with your opponent's hand is a bit wrong. But as a one-off A-spec, we're going to allow it. I think this is a prime candidate to be banned. I'm not saying it will be. But I'm saying if we look at cards in the past that have been banned, like Reset, Stamp, and Red Card, for instance, we can see these cards as, you know what? They're item cards that ruin your opponent's hand that make it so your opponent can't play the game. And we've seen that over and over again. Cards that restrict your opponent's ability to play the game are top of the list for ones to get banned. Your opponent takes one prize, you put them down to a two-card hand, and then all of a sudden, they can't play the game because they draw nothing? And, and let's not play the, well, they've got to draw into it game. Nah, mate. Arvin. Arvin will make sure that they draw into it. If you really want to make sure... Luminion, which is a Pokemon which can be searched, and then use that to get Arvin, and then use that to get Unfair Stamp. So there's no worrying about what if they don't draw into it, mate, they're drawing into it, okay? They are definitely drawing into it. So I think this is a prime candidate to be banned, and I'm not saying it should be, and I'm not saying it is unfair, although the Japanese name is literally Unfair Stamp. What I'm saying it, and it, it, it's written in Katakana, so there's no kind of translation here. It literally reads, unfair stamp. And that's almost certainly what it will be called in English as well. Because that tends to happen where you've got the Katakana names. Anyway, the point is that we're going to have a bunch of tournaments. And if this starts doing well, Pokemon are going to look at this and go, people are losing and they're not able to play the game. There's going to be stream games where turn one, somebody takes a prize and then they get unfair stamped. Or they don't take a prize for several turns because they don't want to get unfair stamped, but then they eventually have to take a prize and then they take a prize and then they get unfair stamped. And you know what? It's going to happen and it's going to happen a bunch and I do think there is an absolute possibility here that this card is actually the one that should be on the list. Given that it isn't even out in English yet, I think saying it's never coming back may be potentially slightly premature, but I'm telling you right now, this is a ridiculous card. And let's finish off with a suggestion from one of you lovely ladies and gentlemen. Apocrypha 5363. Sorry if that is um a mispronunciation. I'm doing my best here. But they've given a great example here. And the example they've given is bicycle and yeah i think bicycle is one of those it's not that we've had a card revealed that tells us it's not coming back we can just look at it in a bit of a vacuum and go oh yeah it got printed once in plasma storm hasn't been printed again and if you look at it for five minutes you might be able to see why plasma storm remember came out in february 2013 that was 11 years ago we had one print of this card exactly one print 11 years ago and it hasn't come back since and if you look at the card you can kind of see why now what it allows you to do 
is draw until you have four cards in your hand. And one of the things we've seen, take the example I gave you earlier of Scoop Up Net and Shaman. Yes, one of the band's categories of Pokemon has been cards that don't let you play the game. But another way we've seen cards end up getting banned is because decks are too fast and consistent, which leads to the other player not being able to play the game. And Bicycle fits here perfectly. Like, bearing in mind, this has better draw than Mew EX. Mew draws until you've got three cards in your hand. This draws until you've got four and is an item card. We could look at Cricketune, for instance. And yes, I'm going to show you the Hyganosuke print. It's the best one. Which will actually let you draw until you've got four cards in hand. But only if it's active and it's limited to once during your turn. Pretty much outclassed by Mew, incidentally. So that, that's one of the reasons it doesn't see any play. But this is a better version of that. Bimorel. Single prize Pokemon, so Pokemon will give it a little bit more leeway. And it's a stage one, so Pokemon will give it a little more leeway. And yet, that's a draw till you've got five. But it's a stage one that you've actually got to set up and get into play. Bicycle gives ridiculous draw. You make a fast deck, one where you can empty out your hand quite nicely. And then, you just make sure you've got a bicycle. So you play at your hand, play bicycle, draw four cards. And you just do that over and over and over and over again it gives speed and consistency the likes of which other cards just don't frankly and i think there is an excellent shout that for that reason it's not coming back like take the other bike take acro bike a card which has been reprinted a bunch although admittedly not for a while that is look at the top two draw one discard one but you play a card and gain a card, so you don't actually end up with more cards in hand than when you started. You, let's say you've got six cards in hand, you play Acrobite, you get down to five cards in hand, look at the top two cards of your deck, put one in your hand, discard one, you're still at six cards in deck, you just pick one of two to replace Acrobike. Still a very good card, incidentally, but fair to say, compared to Bicycle, absolutely not. Whereas with Bicycle, you can go from one card in hand to four cards in hand, that is a very different proposition indeed. Thanks for the suggestion. That was a very good suggestion. And the fact that we can look at it on the face of it and go, oh my word, that's dumb, tells us quite a lot. The fact that we can combine that with, hang on a second, it got printed once 11 years ago and never got a reprint, that also kind of tells us, you know what, there's probably a reason for this. They've probably looked at it and gone, nah, nah, mate, that card ain't coming back. So there we go. Those are free cards that I don't think are ever coming back, but I want to hear from you guys. Do give me your own suggestions. I love this series. This is maybe, maybe my favorite series I do on this channel, and I don't say that lightly. I adore this series, so give me some suggestions, and if I like them, I will feature them and give you a shout out in the next video, or the one after that, or the one after that, you know where I'm going with this, and of course, let me know what you think about my suggestions here, do you think they're fair, do you think they're wrong, go nuts in the comment section, but be nice, and then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. that's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games, and please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.